I'm gonna take you back to the past With some fancy colas and nice cans Yo brothers, you're at home with the geek? I'm Mark, aka the Little Black Dude. Welcome to another of my eating challenges slash taste test videos. If this is your first time seeing one of these, you're gonna wanna subscribe because I do these from time to time, as well as a number of other ridiculous things here. Now, I did a video not long ago about comfort food, things that I absolutely love to eat, things that I love to drink, and soda was one of the things on it. Anybody who knows me knows I'm an avid drinker of Pepsi. So the fact that I haven't done this is already a surprise to me. Today I went over to uh, the store and I decided to get something a little different and I was going to grab one of the, uh, the Pepsi 1893s. These guys right here. These fancy nice little uh, cans here. Look at this. Isn't that gorgeous? Well, when I went and grabbed it I knew about the classic cola and they also had a ginger cola that came out not too long ago but they didn't have it in the store. But they also had citrus which is this bright orange can here and they had black currant now both of these are brand new to me they've probably been around for a while but I've never seen them before so I figured why not so how about having a glass of irony with me and we'll try these out 1893 original cola all right I'm gonna start with the classic, the original cola here, 1893. I'm gonna pour this in my glass of irony and give it a shot. Oh, look at that. It actually smells really nice. Like, it smells like Pepsi, but it doesn't. There's something off about it a little bit. Let's give this a try. carbonation is lighter than uh, in normal Pepsi. It actually tastes kind of like the real sugar version of, uh, of Pepsi that they were doing uh, not too long ago. It comes back from time to time. Definitely something I would drink again. I really didn't think there was going to be much difference, you know, because it's, you know, cola is cola. 1893 Black Current Cola. Next up is the, uh, the Black Current Cola here. I'm going to give this a shot. I'm going to pour this into my glass of irony. Okay, that one too. It has a little bit of a lighter color than the, uh, the, the cola did. But it still looks nice in the glass there, as you can see. It's okay. Let's, let's see what this is like. Okay, I can definitely smell you know, the, the berry smell. This really smells nice. So let's see if it tastes as good as it smells. Amusingly enough, it's not all that different from the cola. It's got a little bit of the other uh, berry aftertaste, but it's more the smell that, that differentiates the two. This is good though. 1893 Citrus Cola. I'm gonna give a try to the 1893 Citrus Cola here. Now, I'm kind of suspicious of this one because Citrus Cola doesn't really sound all that great. I mean, a citrus soda by itself is fine, a cola by itself is fine, but a citrus cola, I'm not really sure where this is gonna go. I mean, I've had plenty of, you know, cola with like a fruit flavor, like, you know, cherry and things like that, but a citrus cola doesn't really sound like the best of things, but I'm gonna give it a try. Into the glass of irony. Let's take a look at this. It actually has a slightly orange color to the other, to the soda, that's actually pretty nice. Okay. Oh, it definitely does smell citrusy. Like, it's heavy orange, heavy on the orange, but you're getting a little lemon in there as well. Almost like they, they soaked lemon zest in the, uh, in the mixture there. And once again, still very much a cola. Mm -hmm. <sighs> here comes the moment of truth here. You can definitely taste the citrus in this. Unlike with the, uh, the black currant, you don't really taste much of the berry in there, but you can definitely taste the citrus in this thing. You know, it, it's mostly like the orange flavor, but you get a lot of the aftertaste from the lemon. I like the way it works though, but it's not something I think I would drink all the time, but it definitely is different. Now, out of a glass, all three of them taste pretty decent, but most people aren't gonna be drinking something like this out of a glass, so they drink them straight out of the can. 
So let's give them a shot. First, the black currant, let's see. I gotta say, out of the can it tastes a little bit different. I think it's because it's aerating different uh, coming out of a can than it would be out of a glass. It's got a little bit more of uh, the stronger taste there because it's coming straight out of the can, I guess. But it still does work pretty well. Okay, next, with the original cola, see if that's any different. The original cola actually tastes more like uh, uh, the real sugar Pepsi straight out of uh, the can here. Definitely makes a difference that it's coming straight out of the can. I think I'd like it better out of the can personally. And then finally, citrus cola here. Out of the can, it actually tastes more like an orange soda. I feel like kale up in here, although I think kale would probably have a problem with this. Now, of course, this has been more of a taste test video, but I can't leave it at that. I figure since I still have some left, I might as well see what they all taste like together. So, black currant into the glass of irony, original cola into the glass of irony, and citrus cola into the glass of irony. Skull, bottoms up, salud, kampai, kari, chupe. Other things you would say. I really don't have anything else. So let's give this a try. While I don't recommend doing this <laughs> to anyone, uh, it's not that bad. <laughs> it's the foretaste that really messes with you. Like, you're getting all the flavors at once. It, it really, really does something to me. But the aftertaste is actually pretty cool. You know, you're getting more of the, uh, the, the citrus at the front, and then you get the, a little bit of the berry. And then, you know, the, the finish is just your cola. Again, I don't recommend you try this if you're not, you know, a huge you know, sugar addict like myself. But this is definitely working for me. <laughs> Drink a piece of Borea. Mm. Excuse me. That's good. But I'm very sure that anybody else would probably be spitting this all over the place. And Grunkle Stan would be somewhere like, there's your spit take. <laughs> but yes, this is definitely fun for me. Pepsi has tried a lot of different things over the years, like uh, Pepsi Kona, which I used to drink religiously, Pepsi Blue, which I would drink religiously, um, Real Sugar Pepsi, all the different flavors that they've put in. But this is definitely something different that I think really works. The only thing that I can think of that is a better choice as far as beverages now are concerned is my personal favorite, you know, Pepsi that's not Pepsi, Crystal Pepsi. Why do they keep taking it from me? <laughs> if you're interested in seeing me do more of these kind of taste challenges, once again, make sure you subscribe. I'm always happy to meet new people. If you want to see some more of my challenges, there's going to be a video list right up here. Click on the playlist. You'll get to check out some of my other uh, taste tests and uh, blind challenges and things like that. Please feel free to leave a comment in the down low. Tell me about uh, your favorite off-brand soda, for example. Till next time, this is the little black dude. Stay geek and proud.